Hey guys, this is a video on how to calculate the uh, balance factors for an AVL tree. So to give you guys a little background, an AVL tree is just a self-balancing binary search tree. And the, uh, the heights of the two child subtrees to any node should not differ by more than one. And this is how we calculate that difference. So here we have the balance factor of the current node is equal to the height of the left subtree minus the height of the right subtree. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, so here we are currently at our node, which has the number nine, and the height of the left subtree is one, two, three. So we know here that it's gonna be three, and I may have to change markers here. So give me one second while I uh, change that. Okay. All right. So again, the height of the left subtree is one, two, three. So we have three minus the height of the right subtree, which is one, two, three, four. So three minus four. So this gives us negative one. So this has a uh, this note here has a balance factor of negative one, which is fine because that means that uh, that the height is only at most one right now, difference from its uh, uh, two children subtrees. So that's fine. So next, uh, let's check out this note here. We have the number uh, five, and its subtrees on the left is one, two. So we're gonna put a, I guess I put a two here. And we have two minus the height of the right, which is one. So this gives us one here. So that note has a balance factor of one. Uh, let's try this 15 here. Um, the left subtree is one, two. We have two minus, let's see the right, one, two, three. So that's three, so it's equal to negative one. Uh, let's go over here, there's three here. The left subtree has one, so we have one minus nothing on the right, so zero, so it's equals one. And this six here doesn't have one on the left, nor has have one on the right. And by one, I mean uh, doesn't have a, a left subtree and doesn't have a right subtree. So this balance factor is zero, or you could say zero minus zero. Uh, I should write that out, zero minus zero, so equals zero. Okay, so now we'll go to this 11 here. Um, the left, there's nothing there, so it's zero. And then there's one on the right, one note, the number 13, so minus one. And we get negative one. And then this 13 here has uh, no left subtree and no right subtree. So this just has a balance factor of zero. Uh, let's go to this 21 here. And I'm, I pretty much went out of order. Uh, I was going left to right, but that's okay. 21 has one, two on the left and one on the right. So we have two minus one, which equals one. And here we have for number 18, for the note 18, we have one on the left and one on the right. So that's one minus one, which equals zero. So that's very balanced. And then here on 23, we have nothing on the left, nothing on the right. So we have a uh, zero minus zero, which equals zero. Balance factor there. And let's see, two also has nothing on the left and nothing on the right. So it too has a balance factor of uh, zero minus zero, which equals zero. So 16 here. Also has a uh, balance factor of zero. I think you guys got the idea now. And 20 also has the balance factor of zero. So if I'm correct here, we should see negative one, one, okay, one, um, zero, and zero. And let's see here, it's negative one, um, and negative one here. Uh, one here and zero. So this should be a balanced tree already and zero. And it looks like it is. So none of these nodes um, differ more than one. So thank you guys. Um, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, the only time that you'll ever need to rebalance 
a binary search tree to make it an AVL tree. Um, it's for four specific cases. So I'll put this here, four cases. Um, the first case is if you insert into the left subtree of the left child of the node. Uh, I'm not going to write that because like I'm going to run out of space. Um, two, you insert into the right subtree of the right child. Three, you insert into uh, the right subtree um, of the left child and then the fourth one should be vice versa if you insert into the left subtree of the right child. So those are the four cases that would cause you to uh, rebalance a uh, uh, AVL tree. So thank you guys for watching the video and um, I plan on putting some more videos on AVL trees, maybe balancing them. But until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.